Good morning, Belgrade. Good morning, Belgrade. My first good morning was really pathetic. It is <clears throat> Tuesday, April 14th, which means that I will soon be calling my mom to sing her happy birthday. Gratis pofedise, mama. She turns today. She enters the wonderful quarantine age of 70. Yes, it is 70 in Finland to be quarantined and stay inside. Here it's 65, so wouldn't you would not have gotten away with that. Uh, well, she's safe. Not in town. She is in buttfuck nowhere. As we call it. Uh, where there are no people around. In a nice little cottage or a house, actually. In a village where nobody lives. <clears throat> so... That's good. With a greenhouse that she can work on. Um, except it's really cold, so you wouldn't be working on greenhouses anyway now. But you, you, mean you can always plan, right? Uh, all other people in Serbia who are outside of towns. Good for you. It must have been, especially yesterday when it was so hot, it must have been really, really nice. Today is not as warm, it's still not hot because it's, uh, you know, it got low pressure coming in and it's really look, I mean, it looks like one of those, it looks like, I have no other word for it, it, it looks like European rain weather, South European rain weather. This is, if it looks like this in Finland, it's probably not gonna rain. I don't know, I, yeah, I can't explain it, it's... Today I'm putting uh, Swedish companies on a test. Uh, oh, I have uh, uh, some subscri subscriptions of stuff that I am trying to um, ask if I can put on hold, seeing as I am being here. Uh, obviously paying for my, my uh, apartment uh, is not going to be on hold, but that's all right. Uh, however, my gym subscription I'm gonna need to put on hold. They are very Nazi <coughs> about that because obviously they want to make all the money that they possibly can. So in order for you to put your gym card on hold you have to have some sort of a uh, medical proof that you are ill and cannot use it. So according to the webpage of my gym, Friski and Svettings, they are very concerned about the coronavirus. Here are some instructions on how to behave at the gym during corona such as do not sneeze on people wipe your gear off after using it keep a respectable distance to people they take it very seriously you can freeze your car apparently contact that's what it means contact contact us do you have a question let's go to questions here you go the contact us through membership service and here we go, frequently asked questions, and here is something about Corona. Can I freeze my card during Corona? Pause it. Yes, let's go for that. So, here are questions, basic questions again. Uh, read more about how to freeze your card. Okay, there's a lot of information. How do I freeze my card? You freeze your card through membership form. Let's click on that. And we're back to contact us. Going around in circles. This is very, very typical Swedish, very American. You can do this. How can you do it? Nobody tells you, but you can do this. So apparently you can't do it. And I'm just going in circles here. So I decided to actually write the people instead. I wrote everybody because the email addresses I found were email addresses of art directors and general managers and IT support desk and whatnot, but none about administration and customer relations at all, whatsoever. So I just wrote everybody. Let's see if anybody answers. And my favorite, taxes. Seeing as I'm freelancing, I do my own taxes. This is normal for any American, I suppose, uh, but you do your taxes 
all the way, all by your, your, your onesie, uh, if you are a free freelancer. Unless you hire a, a bookkeeper to, to do your, this for you, but you are still responsible regardless of if you hire a bookkeeper or not. And the bookkeeper keeps no responsibility over that. So I can become a bookkeeper, I can fudge up somebody else's paperwork and they get in trouble and I still get paid. Great system. The Swedish authorities won't let you um, declare your taxes. They just have this small window that you can declare your taxes. And they, it has to be handed in by the beginning of May. The problem is, I don't have access to all of the information that I need. I can find out how much I've made in the past year, absolutely, and how much I need to pay tax from that. But the thing is, I've spent money on my company as well. I have a lot of stuff that I need to reduct from there. I've been abroad filming, I've been abroad working, which I also need to deduct. There's a lot of bureaucracy, a lot of uh, paper pushing and, and, and little, you know, cells to fill and Excel documents to, you know, fill out uh, in order to get it right. Usually when I've been in contact with them, they've been quite reasonable. It is just very, very difficult to get in contact with any authority. It's basically if you, if, if you, if somebody's chasing you with a knife and you call the police, you, you call a number and it goes... You have now called the police. If you would like to make a complaint, press 1. If you are in serious danger, press 2. If you would like to... I don't know. Something else. Press 3. For information in English. Press 9. Dancing Queen. Young and sweet. Only 70. Boop. We are currently receiving many calls. Please hold. So, imagine what banks are like. Imagine what insurance companies are like. Imagine what the tax agency is like. The good thing about Sweden is that, I suppose it is with a lot of countries, um, that I, I can... And this is where I hate when people say, oh, you can use our app. You won't get any service, but you can use our app. Uh -huh. uh, but I have to say, there are apps that are fantastic at this moment. When I'm here, I can actually go online where all of my uh, bills that are registered will come into an electronic folder and they will um, they will notify me every time I get a new bill that I need to pay the electricity bill the fake electricity bill insurances all the all the all that stuff all that stuff you need to um, know my insurance expires at the end of the year so that's no problem except for the fact that my insurance company is an asshole company who got busted for for their manager their general manager i believe or somebody i at the top got busted for a lot of me too shit there was a lot of sexual harassment and everything and they just let it pass so that was you know so i'm probably going to change my um my uh, insurance company at the end of this year what else happened today? Well, today I found out Serbian media had already found me before the journalist who contacted me before. He's from another media agency. Now here I thought there was just going to be like a little picture and a little text. Uh, but when I scroll down, it just keeps going on and on and on. I made it to the lifestyle section. <laughs> there are two things I want to correct though. I have never called anybody a gangster and I did not mention police at that time, I mentioned military walking around. With, you know, that dress man squad that you see on news every night. Das ist alles. That's probably not how you say it in German. Someone contacted me and asked me to talk about um, the bilingual thing in Finland. <clears throat> I guess there's a lot to say about that. Um, 
to put it in short sentences. Before Finland was independent, Finland belonged to Sweden. Then Russians came and seized the country, and then Finland became the Grand Duchy of Russia, where my grandparents are all born, so my grandparents are all officially Russian. And the Russians didn't really mingle so much with Finns, uh, but the Swedes did way back when. Building cities, uh, universities, all this, so like big names, uh, names that go down in history are, are usually um, Swedish, even though they might be um, Finnish, uh, Finnish nationality. Anyways, <clears throat> so Finland is a bilingual country, meaning we have two official languages, Swedish and Finnish. Yes, the Swedish in Finland sounds a little bit different than the Swedish in Sweden. Although, of course, there are many, many dialects uh, in both countries. Uh, TV Swedish in Finland is different than TV Swedish in Sweden. Let's just say that. Uh, I am bilingual. I am Finno-Swedic. Um, half and half. Half super Finnic and half Finno-Swedic. Which means that I grew up with two languages of which uh, officially Swedish is my mother tongue seeing as it is my stronger language uh, although it has suffered greatly um, my, Swedish, my Swedish has suffered greatly since I moved to Sweden ironically anyways um what can I say? There are Swedish-speaking. There's a Swedish-speaking minority in Finland. Not all of Finnish people speak Finnish. Uh, it's as simple as that. All people learn Finnish in school, and all people learn Swedish in school. The quality of the um, education, the the lingual education, uh, varies greatly between schools and and areas. Obviously, some areas are completely Finnish-speaking, and they don't. They won't say a single word in Swedish, even though they do know some Swedish because they have to, because they were taught that in school. Um, other areas in Finland are completely Finni uh, Swedish speaking, meaning that they don't really know any Finnish. Um, but Swedish speaking have a tendency to be more tolerant and open and social uh, than Finnish speaking. This, of course, does not apply to every region in Finland, especially the eastern Finnish regions are uh, very social, very... Um, more like Serbians. Um, then there are um, Swedish-speaking towns that are 100% Swedish-speaking. Uh, I mean, officially, the official language of the, the town is Swedish. And then there are bilingual towns, and then they are Finnish-speaking towns. Now let's, I mean, think about it as this, like if you go to Bosnia, you have Croats, you have Bosniaks, and you have Serbs right now. Imagine if you all spoke different languages. You would still be Bosnian, you are just not Bosniak. You are Croatian, even though you are not from Croatia, you are Bosnia. I mean, assuming that you're not um, born in Yugoslavia. Um, so, Swedish people usually want to know if I feel like a Swede. No, I'm Finnish. I, it's the thing is, uh, a, a whole culture does come with a language as well. It's not just a language. Uh, and knowing several cultures and knowing several, several languages and ways of expressing yourself and um, how would you put it? Uh, and knowing how to form sentences, how to think differently, is always, always enriching. Uh, it is never bad. It, it just, you know, but it is scary if you are a person who doesn't know this and you, are, you think you are forced to learn this and you don't want to bother your little mind because we people, we people, we don't like to change, we don't like to make an effort. We are like, we are like uh, electricity.
P.S. There are two songs you sing in Swedish for happy birthday. One of them goes Ha den äran idag, which means have the honor today. At the end of Nirvana, song smells like teen spirit. <laughs> You're welcome, Swedish speakers, for me ruining the song forever.